In this movie, you're going to explore the report options. Take your mouse and click on File. Then scroll down to Report Options. This brings up the Report Options window. From here, this is where Crystal has defaulted to the options, some of which you see on your screen. There's also some options that deal with connecting to a certain database. You can choose whatever options you feel fit or what works in your case. The default options Crystal has for you is database servers case insensitive. There are some cases of databases where there's a difference between uppercase and lowercase, so this comes in handy. There are a few other options. We won't go through every single one here, but use indexes or server for speed, meaning crunch most of the data on the actual server itself as opposed to your local PC, and verify on first refresh, meaning make sure your database hasn't changed when you hit the refresh button. Now the few options you have are saving data with the report. Otherwise, every time you close out, it empties itself of any data that was pulled. Also, you have the option to create a group tree. Those are the nice drill downs that you see. And alerts on refresh means when you hit the refresh button, if something has changed, Crystal will bring it to your attention. Select distinct data for browsing. It's more of a SQL concept, meaning find the unique records in a certain batch or table join. By choosing any one of these options and then pressing OK, you save it for the next time you open up this report. It doesn't carry over to the next report you create, but it can come in handy. You can also determine how your preview pages start with, like full size, fit the width, or fit the entire page. A lot of it has to do with your screen resolution and what you want to use. I find using it at the default is usually the best. There are a few other options you can check, but you really need to make sure that your database server can handle it, especially the perform grouping on server. This is available in most cases, even though in some cases it may be not, but it also depends on the size and the power of your database server. There's also a verified stored procedures, which is a little advanced for beginners course, but needless to say it kind of acts like a table, but it's slightly different. Stored procedures are also sometimes apt to change. Go ahead and press cancel. Now those were your report options. Based on your specific situation, you may need to research them a little bit further or dig deeper into the meaning. Keep in mind that the choices you make on those report options are only good for the report you happen to be in at the time.